Flag Train by Inobakamori was one of the catchiest and most memorable Vocaloid songs to come out of 2020. And silly old me living in a cave with an internet connection just got around to listening to it for the first time, uh, a year and a half after it first came out. But sadly, that time didn't quite save me, and, uh, I'm addicted to this song. But hey, since I was unfortunately trusted with a YouTube channel, I'm going to subject you, the viewer, to the inner workings of my mind for a few minutes. No, you don't have a choice, dear viewer. Buckle up. I'm just kidding. I'm going to show all of you why I think Lag Train is a brilliantly written piece of ear candy, and maybe even give you a new set of ears to hear it through. Lag Train already has a lot going for it right off the bat, like Kayuki's really unique and interesting voice bank, or even just Inabakamori's really distinctive style. But what gets me going the most in this song is the way that it plays around with tension and release to build anticipation, and even subvert the listener's expectations using its instrumental track. The opening of the song is great at setting the scene for a lot of the ideas that it's going to be playing around with later on. It uses a sparing amount of instruments to start off, and even complete silence under the vocals just before the song picks up in the second half of the intro chorus. This makes the full instrumentation hit so much harder than it would have otherwise, just because of the way it drops. Whoa! This use of tension and release can be heard all over the song. It'll often linger on a single moment for just a second, and the anticipation the listener feels begins to skyrocket. The instrumental comes right back to satisfy that anticipation, and the next thing you know, you're just swept up in the song. Now, describing a technique like that so plainly might sound pretty... not exciting. After all, if you kept that up the entire song, wouldn't it just get stale and predictable after a while? You see, for any theme, motif, or gimmick in a song, predictable repetition can often cause the entire thing to become stale for the listener over time, no matter how unique or interesting those elements might be. And that's exactly why Inabakamori knows exactly when to pull out these fun moments so they have the most impact, as well as take things in a different direction to subvert the expectations of the listener when they might least be expecting it. It's not always in the same places every time, so the song is always keeping you on your toes as it alternates between stopping in its tracks before taking off again, and just refusing to stop as it continues to barrel forward. The song has so much energy and is always playing around with how the listener interacts with it, and that's what makes Lag Train such a fun and dynamic listen every single time. My favorite moment in the song is right here in the last chorus, specifically because of how it subtly subverts your expectations for a huge payoff. Just like in plenty of other songs from around the world, Lag Train has a final chorus that brings in additional elements to push it even further beyond previous renditions of the chorus ultimately ending in a solid climax by simply transforming mostly familiar material and bringing it to new heights for the listener. You see all kinds of things done in final choruses to give it that extra little bit of oomph, that kick, that spicy goodness like a boss. I'm talking about things like key changes, the introduction of new elements to the instrumental, and additional voice tracks, or basically whatever will get the listener's heart pumping, foot thumping, and their... Ooh, am I allowed to say that? Uh, I don't like that. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. You can hear just how much the difference in approach changes the feeling of Lag Train's chorus when comparing the different renditions from throughout the song. For example, you've got the usual push and pull dynamic using relative silence in the second chorus. You can hear how Inabakamori takes his foot off the gas for a second between the two sections, just before going right back into it, giving the transition that extra little jolt for the listener. <laughs> However, in the final chorus, Inabakamori takes a very different approach to tension and release than he has for most of the song leading up to it. Instead of stopping the instrumental in place so it has extra punch when it sparks back up, he instead takes just about the opposite approach to making a strong impact on the listener. <laughs>
I know I kind of spelled it out with like the red light, green light stuff, but does the difference jump out to you just by hearing it? Instead of a pause, the transition between the two halves of the chorus is actually a swell. Now, to keep this kindergarten metaphor going... Inobakamori straight up ran the red light! At this point in the song, we are already riding high off of a key change, and instead of letting any of that extra momentum go, the guitar and drums double down on the intensity as they follow the vocals upwards, and the tension starts to bubble. The drums hold their breath for just a moment, and as we're at the very edge of our seat, dangerously close to falling out and spilling our double gulp cup full of red slurpee all over the floor, I mean everywhere, what a freaking mess. Anyway, it's right there that a snare and a cymbal bring us right back down to earth in one massive combined impact, popping that tension bubble in an instant. That right there is pure, unadulterated musical catharsis, and I can't help but fall in love with songs when they do stuff like that. Inobakamori is just a genius. Lag Train is full of little moments like this. Pushes and pulls, little variations between verses and choruses, all of it adds up to a song that's constantly fun to listen to and hard to fight the urge to repeatedly loop. The song just feels so alive, from its opening that straight up mimics the sound of train tracks to that tiny explosion of tension in the chorus, Lag Train is always keeping its listeners on their toes. Verse to verse, chorus to chorus, even when the words are the same, it never repeats the same sound twice. There is always something new to hear, some new twist, some minor flair, anything at all. Lag Train is more than just a song, it's an experience. The music, and I know I've said this a billion times already, pushes and pulls you all over, while its simple yet addictively rhythmic music video brings so much extra energy out of the song. So much so that even its depressing lyrics can't stop you from having a good time as you get swept away in the rhythm of a train going- I hope that this goofy little analysis video gets you to think about how you approach music and maybe even push you to listen to some of your favorite songs just that little bit closer to pick up on those small details buried in their sound. Seriously, give it a try. It's super rewarding to have those little aha moments. Anyways, music is pretty cool, so uh, why don't you go listen to some music? Thank you for watching all the way through this admittedly pretty silly little video of mine. I originally started writing this with the intention of making a 60 second script, but I guess I just had a little bit too much to say about a 4 second part of a single song. But hey, what did you think of Lag Train? Does the song do anything special for you in a way that I didn't bring up here? And if you happen to enjoy our time together today, make sure to do all the YouTube stuff too while you're at it. I'm sure you know the drill by now. I'd love to see you around again, and maybe even hear from you in the comments if you're feeling brave enough. I promise I won't bite. More than once. Well, <laughs> with that being said, thanks for watching. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. I'm lagging right now. I'm gonna have to- I, I'm gonna have to get my router fixed or something. How am I supposed to play a mo-